and you probably didn't think that I would end up doing this. Hello everyone, Mega Man NG here. Welcome to the Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. Yeah, that's right. After Link to the Past, what other game I should do? Oh, I know this one. The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. I did not really think that I would end up doing this game because The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap was a game I really want to do. I wanted to do it on the Wii U eShop, but I'm like, nah, this is the good way to go. All right, we choose our name as Link, and let's start the game. A long, long time ago, when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny pickery appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. I swear this theme? Yeah, this theme is just so much fun to listen to. Not to mention, yes! It's based off the credits of Ocarina of Time. And in terms of timeline placement, this takes place before Ocarina of Time. It actually takes place sometime after Skyward Sword. Good morning, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Link? The whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Link was up late helping me last night and he's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Link, time to get up. Link, time to get up. Yep, that's right. We're now playing as Link. But this is a different Link, not the same one. Hey, Link! Princess Zelda's here. She'd like to know if you join her at the festival. Yeah, Link. Come on, let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun! And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. We accepted the smith's sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it. And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying. We'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Link. Let's go check out the festival. Yeah, and here we get 20 rupees. That's great. And this is your mode. Save your game. That's that. Plus, you can save your game right here. Like that. That's actually pretty easy. But I gotta... I swear, this game came out in the, for the Game Boy Advance around 2004. Link! Over here! Oh yeah, you can press the R button to roll. Link! Hurry, let's go! Over here! Come on, hurry up! Well, here we are, the town of Hyrule.
Here we are, Link. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Link, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to. Oh, I wonder what's over there. So the Picori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that. Say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow, over here. We have a winner! Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing! Wow, you get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes! What'll it be? First, we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next, we have this magnificent gem. And finally, there's this teeny tiny shield. So which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel? Oh, but that heart stone is very cute too! Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable. I think I'll take it. What? Why? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the Hearthstone? It's cute. Or, or this giant gem. It's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope. I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay. Here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't this shield suit you perfectly, Link? Princess Zelda gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. It is a little embarrassing, though. It's so tiny. Yep, just as I thought. You look great. Now, if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Link. Yeah, they actually made the shield the A button. Like that. Come on, Link. Let's hurry to the castle. Ew. Ouch! That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a Deku scrub had been hassling all the passers-by. Link, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had some way to defend ourselves against those nuts of his. Please, forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts, so to speak. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that nut hurt. Oh well, you won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. Oh, Link! You brought the sword, did you? And as minister to the Kingdom of Hyrule, I Potho accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Link, but I'd better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Since you're here, Link, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Do you know about that sword, Link? It is called the Picori Blade, and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Picori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Let the award ceremony commence! Fati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. <laughs> 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 
To think things would go this well. The Pecori blade and the bound chest spoken of in Hillian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of its contents now. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Picori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. doing this the princess with the mystic aura the power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of its royal family interesting if I leave you now you'll only cause me trouble later that will never do to stone with you Zelda <laughs> All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now to find out what power awaits me in this chest. What? Empty? There was nothing in there but a rabble of monsters. What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. You're awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Oh, Link! You're awake! Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is as you have all heard. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred Pecori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vadi shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Pecori? The Pecori? Not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, the one from the fairy tales. But the Pecori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picori, who forged the sacred clay, live deep within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? what Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No, soldiers will not do. The Picori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Link? If Link has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Bikori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It'll be a dangerous journey, now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take the sword with you, along with the broken Bikori blade. We accepted the broken Bikori blade. This is part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred blade. Don't lose it. And we got the smith sword. It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for body at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once, humans and Bikori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and then L or R to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. We obtain a map of Hyrule. Now you'll never get lost. Right there on the right, huh? I am counting on you, Link. Only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. Okay, so the sword is the B button, shield's the A button. 
And yeah, they're pretty much items. This is sort of remind me of the Oracle games, which I plan on hopefully covering in the future. And yes, I own them on my 3DS. And it has begun! The journey begins! Oh yeah, he doesn't know the spin attack. Nice, you got one rupee. What's the point of getting one rupee? Really? Looks like they blocked construction. What's happened here? The name's Muta. I'm head cop and I run these parts. The King of Hyrule himself has entrusted me with this project. See, that sorcerer's attack tore things out pretty bad around here. You know, kid, you shouldn't be playing anywhere near the construction zone. Well, that's fine. And we'll just head eastward. We're now at Lon Lon Ranch. And according to our map, that's not far. Yeah. That's pretty impressive, to say the least. Yeah, this game came out for the Game Boy Advance. Surprisingly, it was one of three games that Capcom was involved in. Yep, Nintendo teamed up with Capcom to deliver this game. And I love it. Now we're in the Eastern Hills, but I don't think that's where we need to be. Nuts, the whole place is locked out tight. Hyrule Castle North, Hyrule Town Left, Minish Woods to the right. Nice! Really like the music here in this game. And I wish Nintendo worked with Capcom more on more Zelda games, but that was during a very different time. Juice. What's going on here? There's the first dungeon. Minish Woods. Let's not forget to get our first heart piece, though. One of 44. Yes, there are a total of 44 heart pieces. And any time you collect a heart piece, your health is automatically refilled. Whereas the Link of the Past had 24 heart pieces, since, well, you... Wait. Yeah, because you had 10 dungeons. 3, 7, that's 10. Hey, kid! You there! Ow! 
Hey, don't just stand there. Do something. Ahoo! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Phew! Well done! That was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself, but that's beside the point! What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Oh, <laughs> I see. The uh, Picori, you say? And Vadi? Vadi's cursed, someone? What? The sacred blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of bodies. And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break his curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Aslo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What? Is there something on my face? What's staring? It's rude. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you notice that I have half no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Ah! If that isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome kid. There. Now, you can't possibly leave me behind. Why, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See? There. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, uh, such a hopeless child. We get a heart. They replenish your life energy. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to make them now. Eh? Who are the Minish? Ah, oh, yeah, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how, in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that! At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the slump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the slump and press R. Get me up there, and we'll give it a try. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know. Being Minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps of the Minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Wasn't wrong with that. Yeah, this adds a whole new level of challenge for a game like this. Now we reach the Minish Village. Hmm, it appears we found the Minish Village. Pico Picori! Pico Picori! Pico Picori Pico! I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself, but perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Alright, so we have to find information about that. 
Let's head up to the northeast side. There's something we need to get our hands on. And this here, Nets has heart piece number two. As I said, we need to get, there are 44 pieces in this game. And I hope this means I don't have to push myself to my limits. Now we need to find a Minish village with a blue roof. This is it. Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Festari. I watch the Abbey as well as the Shrine of the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a Jabbernut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the Barrel House just south of here. As I said, this game for a Game Boy Advance title is awesome. Oh, Link! This must be the Jabbernut, the story told you about. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. We ate the Jabbernut. Now we can understand the language of the Minish. So you've eaten the Jabbernut, and now you can understand us. The Elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. Now we need to head to the Village Elder, and it's found in the northwest part of town. Could this be it? Oh, you speak our language! It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Link. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Picori blade. Ah, yes, and you've come here now hoping to have the blade reforged? Hmm, well, if that's what you're after, you'll need four mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of this world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mop where these elements can be found. So that's where they're found, huh? The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Festari's Abbey. Speak with Festari. He will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the Earth Element. You wish to go to the Shrine? Very well, this way. Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. Okay then, it's time for us to get started. The first dungeon, the Deepwood Shrine. So this would be the Deepwood Shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No way, what am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. He's not wrong with that. We gotta take down these slugulas. Very good. This nets us a small key. 
Use it to open locked doors and blocks. You can use it, use it only in this dungeon. Hmm. Hmm. There's a locked door here. See if you can find a key to open it. That was too close. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it and press R to grab it. Then press down to pull. That's I messed it up. Very good. Now let's head up to the next room. Yes, this is all part one. Wow, look at the size of that barrel. Hmm, all right, right, how silly of me. It's not big, we're just small. Wait a minute. We gotta go through on the other side too. Ah, great. That did it. Wow. Hey, be careful, my lad. The barrel just moved. That is some interesting Mode 7 stuff. Gotta head up here. Very nice. That's not why we're here, is it? Nice, we found the dungeon map. Check it on the map screen. Lighter rooms are ones you visited. The blinky room is your location. Press up or down on the D-pad to check different floors. Really, that was dumb. All right, now let's head left. Oh, wait, you don't take... What we need now is something to hold down the switch. Now, for whatever reasons, become silent. Yeah, but how to do with the sound? Dang it. I'm not worried about it, don't you fret. Nice. Once you take hold of something with R, use left or right to push or pull it. 
This is extremely important, so I hope you take pains to remember it. I hate it when it does this. Okay, we get another key. Very good. Now it's under the barrel. I knew this was going to happen. Alright, that's better. That's needed so we can push this back. Very good. Nice, we get five rupees. I knew my speakers were screwy. There's a puzzle in this. Here we go. Nice, we got another small key. Very nice. Actually, two hard pieces. No, wait. Very good. This song feels familiar, based on Zelda 2. That's the end of that. Got it. Nice, we obtained the Gust Jar. Hold the button to draw things in and release the fire amount. Set to A or B on the item screen to use it. Right. 
nice. With the Gus Van and Hamlet sucking up. And we get our hands on heart pieces. Yes, there are heart pieces in dungeons. Nice, we get 10 mysterious shells. I'm not sure what they're for, but let's just hold on to them for now. Ah, oh, great. That's better. Hmm, what's this one? Another 10 shells. Hmm? A teleport. Very good. Now let's walk to the next room. Seriously, I knew my speakers were really screwy. Another 10. Or rather, it was a 20. That's not good. Nice. And that's gonna have us drop down. What? Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be going much farther. Great. No, that ain't it. Seriously, now realizing that realizing that my speakers are being screwy, this tells you right off the bat something's up. I will ad no there you go
That's better. Got another small key. And this nets as the compass. Use it to find the locations of hidden items. Now we gotta go all the way back, then head up. Then head all the way to the left. Now that's I messed that up. Kidding? Come on. We got the big key. We can use it to open big doors. Nice. Now let's hit this and get our heart piece, which means our health is now raised up to four. Actually doing pretty decently. Nice. I think we're near the end of this ride. Nice. Now we gotta do the same thing here. It's boss time now. Oh boy. Gotta move. Gotta hit this thing hard. This fight will not take us long. That's better. Now this thing's gonna lose its balance and then you can take it down. That's it! For a first boss, it's not hard!
We obtain the earth element. The power of the earth is the source of all living things. The earth element is the embodiment of that power. And we get a heart container, which raises our hearts to five. Ah, we've got the earth element. Must go tell the elder at once. You retrieve the Earth element from that fiend-infested shrine? Incredible! Humans are amazing creatures. The Elder is sure to be amazed, too. That's impressive, to say the least. So, you have found the Earth element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Cronel. There you will find a man named Malari. Among all the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I am certain he will reforge your broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. Leave through this door here. It'll take you out of the forest quickly. Great, Elder. We are in your debt. We shall head for Mount Cronel at once. Well, that says a lot for it. Green clothes and a mystical hat? Sir, would you by chance be Link, the one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. I have heard so many tales about you. I am Balari, researcher of antiquities. I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. We got a bomb bag. And it has ten bombs in it. Now we can blow up lots of stuff. Well, that's pretty much nice. Time to return to normal. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hmm, whoa, it blew up! Hey kid, look at where that stone marker used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course! Why, this must be... Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. I see. But they'll act as much warp points later. Nice, we blew them up. Yep, now I knew my speaker something's up with my speakers. Yep, looks like that's going to probably be it for this. I don't know why, but it will be. Anyway, that is going to be it for this part of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button, it means a lot. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. It does mean a lot to me, truly. I will see you next time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.